3. By Rosemary Selbis. A choice is set before me. One of three, but just one, no more. The choice of three roads, of three journeys, of three powers. And when faced with this choice, this choice that will dictate my path, I cannot help but wonder. What if, what if I choose the first? The raging inferno. Scorching earth from green, to black. A flame which shoots across the sky, and a spark which ignites the soul. A small flame begets a pair, which in turn begets an inferno. A small inferno, and a large spark. With ignition, the land is ravaged, and thus reborn. Land, people, societies, nations. All is consumed in fire, and reborn. From the ashes, life is restored. Earth has no hold over the fire, none have control. Flames of the soul, sparks of the spirit. Pain and destruction, birth and renewal. The offensive. A single spark which holds it all. What if I choose the first? What if I choose the second? Gentle and calm. Easing pains and sores. Flowing across the land, the lifeblood of the earth. The source of all life and the end of many. Calmed, it soothes, heals, rejuvenates. Quickened, boils like magma and burns he who dares approach. Slowed, it chills, freezing like a corpse's breath, threatening life and limb of all. Hot or cold, pain ensues. Yet neutral brings peace life, change, life and death, hot and cold, the volatile, a single drop which holds it all, what if I choose the second, what if I choose the third, the bounty of the earth, bending and shifting in the wind, strength of the oak, yet the fragility of the blossom, flora at my fingertips, and beauty and bounty, riches and greens and reds and yellows, yet that is not all, with the blossom, comes the thorn, comes the poison, the poison, purple, writhing pain, which slowly kills in the wrong hands, or perhaps quickly, in the right, not evil, but a defense, protection and quencher of life, fighting fire with fire, without using fire, the plant and the poison, the cure and the disease, the defensive, a single pip which holds it all, what if I choose the third, and then, be for choice, a thought. Are there really only three? Why three? Why shouldn't there be more? Why can't there be more? Can there be more? There should be more. There can be more. So there will be more. Just one more. Just a fourth road, a fourth journey, a fourth power. And I ask myself again, what if, what if I choose the fourth? The new choice. The new path. Mine alone as I have created it, the fourth, and choice open to none else, but me, a path alone, yet remarkable in its singularity, but what is the fourth, what could rival the three, yet equal them, what sparks as the first, what flows as the second, what has such beauty and danger as the third, what has a piece of all the powers, heaven's roar, heaven's roar and heaven's strike, together, yet separate, immense power, here then gone then here again. The spark, the flow, the beauty, the danger. Yes, it is the fourth. Heaven's power, but no longer heaven's. Given to man. Controlled by man. Given to me. Controlled by me. By myself, who chose the fourth path when three were offered.